Hey buddy, it's Crazy Typhoon, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Hard Gold and Soul Silver. In the last episodes, we returned here to the Safari Zone, um, hence why we're still in the Safari Zone gate, to take care of the second test that Balba called us for. Um, and now we're officially owners of uh, of the Safari Zone, even though we still have to pay, which makes zero sense. Um, but we also got our last team member, Larvitar, who is going to be very, very handy. Uh, maybe not for now, but definitely later on. Um, so we're very excited to finally have one on the team. And now our team is finally freaking complete. Let's just look, have a quick look at this real quick. Look at that. We got Tyson the Heracross, Bryce the Crobat, Thor the Ampharos, Dory the Lapras, Bradley the... I almost said Typhlosion, the Qualava right now, and Charles... The Larvitar. Um, one thing I should mention before we start. First off, yes, I am here by myself because I, Chris, wasn't able to be record. Um, mainly just due to me being very, um, I guess, quote unquote, busy. Um, and while I was over at uh, Brian Sandra's house, hanging out with Brian Sandra and David, as I, as was the reason for my main busyness, didn't record with them because I'm stupid. So we're kind of just making things up. I'm doing some solo recordings today, and that's what we're gonna work on. First off, before we do anything, I want to just tell you guys a little bit about like what I've changed. So, off screen, I did a little bit of team changing and in catching new versions of teammates. Dory is one of those that I changed. And you can see right here, I got one with Water Absorb because I really wanted one. When I rewatched the episodes where I um, kind of showed Chris the you know the Lapras that I got, he, he said something about like how Shell Armor is like decent, but like Water Absorb is like much, much better for Lapras. And like I thought more about it, I'm like, I, it really is, I should get one. So I decided to farm a little bit more for Lapras and the original one is still on the PC, just vibe and I named it like Dory OG. But the, even the, uh, um, I feel like the, stats are better too with the special tech now being the boosted um, stat and, and now defense sadly is lower but you're kind of mainly gonna be using Lapras as a special tank anyways and Larvitar is the other one I also changed um, as you remember we had a Larvitar which I think it raised something. I feel like it might have raised one of the defenses and lowered the other one. I can't fully remember, but it was not that good of a nature. Luckily, it was a Pokemon we just caught, so changing it wouldn't have been that big of an issue, and that's exactly what I did. I grinded for a char- uh, for a- for, I guess, a Charles, the uh, Larvitar, for a good amount of time, trying to get an admin nature, just because that's like the best one you can get that lower- that raises attack, lowers special attack, but I decided to go for this one. Uh, which changes nothing. It is a serious nature um, that changes nothing. I don't know what it raises and lowers, but yeah, it's this one, which I think on average has s probably the best stats out of all the Larvitars that I actually caught. Um, so yes, this is the one we're going to be using. Um, so a little bit of, you know, team rearranging, but you know what? It's fine. We're here. We're going to have a good time. What we're going to be starting off with today, uh, first off, actually, this would be really smart. Let's give Larvitar our um, thing. What is it called? The XP share, because he's going to need it. <laughs> he's really going to need it. And second off, we're going to be flying back over to Mahogany Town. Now, there's a little bit of an event that we... Or, sorry, Lake of Rage. There's been an event that we are going to be taking care of in this episode. Don't you worry about that. But I want to take care of Lake of Rage once more. And there's a reason as to why. That is because I mentioned in an earlier episode how on Wednesdays, Lake of Rage changes. As you can tell, the Lake of Rage basically on Wednesdays has the water level lowered. Um, which is kind of crazy. You can see the difference um, in how the Lake of Rage is like... Is looking um, and so that's what we're gonna be just taking care of real quick I want to just go back to Lake of Rage and uh, just get some extra items that we couldn't before I could have you know added this to like the end of one of the previous episodes but I want to like have a special segment just for it um, first off okay I want to go down here because actually you know what can I have this okay, there's nothing on there's nothing there. there's a Pokemon over here which gives me a full heal I'll take it I will definitely take that. Okay, so what else is there? I know, like, uh, I showed, like, a map in an earlier episode how it, like, it drastically changes. It really does. Like, trees are now up, 
and you know things are quite different uh this is not really the route you want to take sure that one gives you the pokeball however the route you really want to take is the one that's over this way because this one it's the one that's like passed over here past these trees um because this one is god damn it <laughs> Uh, no, we want to do... we want to get another super repel. Um, yes. Because this one actually takes you to, like, the rest of, you know, the place. Might as well just use the bike for now, and just keep going. Alright, let's get the dowsing machine up again, just in case I need it. Alright, here we go! Now we got some new stuff. Oh, wait, nope, stop. Okay, go over this way, go over this way, beautiful. Okay, we made it. Oh, don't tell me I need cuts! Please don't tell me I need cut. Let's fight this guy and just see. I was not expecting me to potentially need it, but I hope I don't. If I do, then I'll just like get everything that I can right now and then I'll just cut back to when I get cut. So, yeah. Anyways, let's fight this guy. With an Ivysaur. Oh, I have Aerial Ace though. You're a fool. You're gonna try. He's gonna fail. He's gonna live. No, he doesn't. Awesome. These levels are pretty low too, which is actually really helpful. Um, uh, I'm gonna start sending Charmeleon! Uh, I guess, yeah, Lapras. Dory needs some XP bad. <laughs> Level 27 is not the best place to be right now. Especially with this next gym leader. The final one, but it, the next gym leader we're gonna be facing, uh, is like, I think, mid to, I think it's like the high 30s, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that's gonna be a bit of an issue to face off against because, um, you know, we kind of want to be a little bit more prepared and this is not being prepared. Uh, I just send in Thor, I guess. I just realized this, uh, this trainer has each of the Kanto starters, but like their second forms, which is, I mean, it's kind of cool, but, you know. Uh, let's just take care of you by, I don't know, charge beam, I guess. Hey, let's go quick claw, coming in clutch. And I made it, actually. Okay. You know, I expected this game to be a little bit faster. <laughs> I'm like, I've been playing Pokemon White so much recently. Because I'm like trying to play throughout like each of the, like, I want to go through e the series. Um, and White is my next stop, is the one I'm currently working on. And my gosh, it is like, the difference in speed is night and day. Genuinely, it is night and day. Okay, so going up there gives you that Pokeball. I wonder if it is possible to actually get... Oh, shoot. There's a lot that's blocked off if you don't have cuts. Oh, I don't like that. That Pokeball should have just locked off. You need cut for this. Hold on, I'm gonna check something out. Can I potentially give cut to any of my teammates? At least just temporarily. Please. Uh, let's see. Let us see. Who can I give it to? Tyson and Bradley, my gosh. What does Tyson have? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. He's got Aerial Ace, Counter Strength, and... Oh, that's good stuff, too. I don't want to get rid of any of these. What What about... What about Bradley? What about Bradley? Potentially, he might have, like, something I can get rid of. That I'm just, like, not using. Charles, I wish, was able to learn it. But hence... Not the case. Uh, quick attack, defense, cr oh, they're all decent. Flame wheel I kind of have to keep because that's my only fire uh, type attack right now. Smoke strain I want to keep just because it really come in handy and quick attack? I genuinely feel like, just, I, again, will come in handy. Defense curl genuinely might be the one I get rid of just for a second. I have not been using that at all. When it comes to stat raising or stat dropping moves, I really should could just get rid of Defense Curl. Sure, I could make my life easier and just, you know, or make these quicker and better just by going back to the Pokemon Center and grabbing, um, uh, Gertrude, but, uh, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> Wednesday for Wednesday. Oh, shoot, okay. Well, damn! That was unexpected. Black Belt Beast has the power of fighting time move. That's good! What the heck? Okay, so I didn't, uh, this is one thing I, I didn't mention, but it's a good thing that I encountered this guy, so now I could actually mention it. But apparently, um, on certain days of the week, and I'm pretty sure it's not just the Lake of Rage, it's like other places too. What's this first off? 
Oh, so nice. Uh, there are people who only show up depending on the day. Not only just time of day, but also the day itself. Cameron the photographer obviously is the one we know and love. Um, and he usually shows up on like Saturdays, but there are times where he sh sh uh, shows up on like different days. Um, these people are uh, ones that show up here and there. Master Five, very nice. I'm pretty sure there are like more that show up in Lake of Rage, depending on the day, or it could be, or I could just be thinking about um, like other people. So I don't know, or other places. Sorry. Either way. Yeah, that's kind of cool. If I if I remember and if I think it's worth it, I'll show like a picture on screen, like or just some of some notes talking about like, um, you know, the different people that show up in the Lake of Rage and like what they could give you and like what the end goal is, if there even is one. Is there nothing here? Nothing. Wow. Is that really it? Like, is that all you get from the Lake of Rage on Wednesdays? That's kind of that kind of sucks. <laughs> I took all this time. I even like removed one of freaking Bradley's moves just just to get like some items and uh, I mean they were good items don't get me wrong but like I kind of expected more. I mean must mimic. Okay, so yeah, this is the guy. Wesley has other brothers and sisters and they are the ones that appear. So maybe I will show like something talking about them cuz it might be actually really useful. Um, for now though, uh, it's not necessary. <laughs> We're gonna be flying to Goldenrod, because that is where our next true destination is. Why is that our next destination? Uh, it's simply due to what we're going to be taking care of, and you'll see why. So remember the uh, radio tower incidents that we, I guess not dealt with, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, that uh, is gonna be coming in um, into play here. First off, before we actually do what we need to do, we're gonna head into the train station. Because we, this is the place... Not the right place! <laughs> I meant not the train station, the underground, like, passage stuff or whatever. There's a lot of Team Rocket. Hey, Brat, you don't belong here! Get lost! Well, damn. Slow your roll, buddy boy. Alright, I'll beat you up. I have a full team of Pokémon that'll just... do something. I mean, they'll do good. Alright, now that we're here, I think... No, it's not there. Okay, it's gonna be somewhere up here. Uh, is it this guy? Yes, it is. Where's the guy? Huh? Are you a newcomer too? We had to recruit new members for the radio tower mission. Then we ran out of uniforms. I heard the studio has some, so I decided to borrow one. Since you are here, why don't you change as well? This is kind of funny. <laughs> I forgot this is the dialogue. Look at you. Very pretty good. Oh, but you shouldn't try and scare people walking around looking like that, okay? So this guy literally thinks that you are trying to, like, enter Team Rocket, so he's like, yo, I'ma hook you up with a costume. And so here we go. This is what you need in order to actually access the area we're going to. Uh, which is gonna be over here, the radio tower. I haven't been here for a while, but yeah, let's take care of it. Um, yes, I've been telling visitors to go home as you instructed. Oh, okay. So she, like, thinks that I am ra uh, radio tower? I am Team Rocket. What about this person? Ha! You must be new! You look pretty good in the Team Rocket uniform! Go on ahead! I appreciate you. Oh no. Hey, Team Rocket! Stop going around in groups and troubling people, you cowards! Huh? Are you Dan? What are you doing here? No way! You think you're strong now that you look like them? That's foolish! You shouldn't wear those things! The son of a gun really just gave up my position. Thanks, I appreciate it. What? You! You're not a newcomer! Then battle with me! Okay, well... <laughs> if you so please, let's do it then. Alright, let's take care of Team Rocket Grunt. Kind of, uh, kind of hate Chris for that. Yo, Chris, if you're watching this, kind of a douchey move of you, not gonna lie. Alright, let's Brick Break. Okay, fine. You do a sucker punch, I like I could care less. Hopefully we can actually get, like, some good moves for, um, for Bradley soon, because I, like, I mean, Flame Wheel's nice, it does what it can do, however, Bradley is more of a special attacker. Let's go, Charles! Bradley is more of a special attacker, um, and it would be kind of useful if Bradley could potentially learn a special attacking fire type move. Sure, I'm pretty sure that uh, Fire Blast is a TM that I can buy from the Goldenrod department store, um, which would help me 
give Bradley a uh, special attack and fire type move. However, it's not exactly what I want to give him. So, plus it's, it's a whole thing of like, TMs are still only a one time use in this game, in this gen, and I just, I don't know, there might be a different instance where it might come in handy. Probably not, but I'm just saying it might. So we're just gonna keep it for now. Uh, or just not buy. I don't even know if I did buy it at all. I guess I could buy. At the same time, though, like, my mom keeps stealing so much of my money. It's like, is it even worth buying something that expensive? You were too powerful. You could have spoiled that. You could spoil that plan. I have to form the others. All right. I see. You're trying to be sneaky. Huh. A typical idea of the weak. Or of the meek, sorry. No matter. I'll let you handle this. I have to defeat the dragon tamer. What's his name? Lance! After that, it will be your turn. Be ready for it. Alright, buddy. Goodbye. So that was cool. Alright, let's go uh, take care of the radio tower, I guess. Um, first off, actually, as much as I like having Tyson in front, I think I'm gonna switch out to... I mean, Bradley still needs to evolve, but like, Bryce and Dory are like, really low-leveled. Honestly, let's do Dory. I think Dory would be smarter to actually battle with. So before anything, I want to check out the options real quick. So this is fast tech speed. Okay. Like, it just, it's so weird, because I, I mentioned, like, I'm so used to Pokemon uh, Black and White. And, uh, and that game is, like, much, much faster than this. Like, they really increased the speed of that game. Uh, from Gen 4. I guess Gen 4 in general is just a slow, slow gen. Like, not only Diamond and Pearl, but even, like, Platinum and Heart Gold, Soul Silver, like, they're slow games. They don't need to be, but they just are. So, anyways, let's fight this, uh, Rattata. There are gonna be some pretty low-level, like, trainers here. So it's like, it's not really gonna give me much, but I mean, like, I might as well. I did, did good battles. Kind of good XP, not really. <laughs> this is, like, really bad XP. But we're doing it anyways. I would say maybe I could potentially, like, fight some of these guys as Larvitar, but I think it's too risky. I mean, Rock Slide is really good. Like, Larvitar starts off with Rock Slide. Like, hello? That's incredible. So, I don't know. I still don't think that Larvitar is powerful enough to actually, like, handle things on his own. Sadly, but it's true. So, in the meantime, we're just gonna do be doing this stuff myself. <laughs> I think that's a much better plan. Okay. I shard- I actually might kill. It didn't? Alright then, fine. Whatever you say, buddy. Uh, here's a body slam, I guess. Boom. Let's get it. Nice. Alright, I'll take it. And... 139. Like, again, you're not getting anything from this. It'd be nice if I could, like, turn off battle scene and just, like, make things a little quicker. But I feel like, let's play-wise, it might just be better to, like, have everything play out. Maybe not the smartest choice, but it's what I kind of want to do, so... <laughs> we're doing it! <laughs> yeah. Alright, nice. Storing more XP, so it's Charles. On a Rattata! Man, this is a full team of five freaking Rattatas. Gosh, can you be like any more pathetic? I'm gonna use an Ice Shard, it's not gonna kill. I'll just do- I'll just- no, I'll do two Ice Shards, why not? I'm running low on Surf PP. And, uh, I would like to just like, not have that. So... I mean, if anything, I do have Ethers. And I did mention earlier in the Let's Play how I wanted to use more Ethers. So, I mean, you know... Oh well. <laughs> I just... I mean, I'll use them if I need to use them. But for now, I guess I'm chillin'. The intro still didn't level up. I guess level 17. Mm, I don't know. Alright, that is it taken care of. Let's fight you. Haha! -ha! How boring! It was far too easy to take care of to take over this place. Come on, you can use. I'll try. I'll try it! Ah, you're gonna be like, such an easy fight! And it was just a waste of my time. <laughs> okay, never mind. We actually have a little bit of a challenge. Finally, I appreciate it. Damn, okay, okay, crunch, relax. We didn't do much, good. All right, fantastic. I do kind of hope we fight a, a water type as Dory at some point, because having a uh, water absorb is going to be really helpful. I mean, at the same time, though, am I really going to be fighting many water types as Dory? Probably not, but there's a chance that it might still come in handy, so we'll keep that in mind. Let's go level 19 for Charles. Pfft, 
scary face. Isn't that the one that like lowers defense? Lowers speed. I mean like... Honestly, no. I feel like by the time I actually start using Larvitar, or start using Charles, it's probably gonna like learn much better moves anyway, so it's fine. I really could care less. Uh, somebody needs to put me like three, like three. I, I mean, someone did help, of course. I like that. I like how, like, when like inf infiltrations are going on in like certain parts of Pokemon games, dialogue of like certain uh, people change as well. You know, it's nice. You know, I mean, it's kind of the idea of RPGs. A lot of things change when like certain events go on, yada yada. Oh, hi, Zubat. You're level 26. You're not gonna really give me much, but I mean, 26 is better than 21, so that's that's for sure. I'd rather fight just like grunt with just like one or two high le higher level Pokemon than like grunt with like five or six lower level Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? Let's go level 28. Finally. Okay. I feel like Dory learns the next move? I actually don't know when, TBH. I really don't know when Nori, Do Nori? When Dory learns uh, its next move. It's like, it's level 30 something, maybe level 30 for all I know. 32, maybe. But it's a big, big maybe. I don't know, we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Well, I say soon, but like, we're only 28. We're not really gaining much XP from this. Especially now that we're using uh, XP share on Larvitar. So, yeah. I mean, sure, you know, if I really wanted to get more XP, I could just like, take it off Larvitar, and then just... XP ground fit later, but I do want it to get XP now, even if it's just a, like a little bit at a time, it's still useful. Hi Grimer, how's it going? You don't really have much for me, so I'm just gonna surf you to death. Should kill, right? I mean, kind of a bulky Pokemon, but Muck really is the, the bulky one. That's the one I'm a little spooked on about. Um, but Grimer's not that much. Not that bad, I mean, uh... It's gonna be three Grimers, isn't it? Please, like, end with a muck. That'd be awesome, actually. Hmm, I definitely would not mind that at all. We can just end with a muck. Okay, there we go. Grimer's done. Because muck gives nice XP. I will say that. Yo, oh, let's go! That's what I'm talking about. I like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to start off with... I'm going to start off with an Ice Shard. Because I don't think- I only have one Surf left, and I don't think it's actually gonna kill. So I'm gonna do an Ice Shard. See how much it does. Okay. Almost about a fourth, maybe a little less. Sludge is gonna do? Oh my gosh, are you kidding? Did that really have to happen? Okay, I'm gonna die here. Let's not have that. Um... Uh, I don't want to use it, but let's use a Full Restore. At this point, it's like, we might as well. So, let's do it. Also, while we're trying to fight off this muck, um, one thing I actually learned about pretty recently, uh, when it comes to, uh, your mom in-game, right? Uh, and the money that she tends to take from you from time to time, or in my case, like, every two seconds, um, apparently, you can have her stop that. The reason what I- what I basically mean- oh gosh, here we go, now the minimize is coming into play. Basically what I mean by that is... If uh, your mom can only buy five items at a time with your money, once those five items are bought, and you don't go into the Pokemart to actually like take those items from the- the guy, from the delivery guy, she cannot spend any of your money. Which is a really good strat. I might start doing- no, I'm not, not might, I'm going to start doing that. Sure, you know, you could say, well, Daniel, she might get some good items. She might? That's true? But for the most part, I've only been getting berries. And it's berries that I don't even use. <laughs> like, I don't even really use berries to begin with. And these are berries I will not use at all. So, it's probably just for the better. You know what? There's a bit left to go for the radio tower. Um, I think we're gonna end off for today and resume in the next episode. So, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Social media, including Twitch, second channel, music channel, VOD channel, all that good stuff down below in the subscription. Next time, what are we doing? I don't know, we're gonna be finishing up the Radio Tower to defeat all the Team Rocket people. Um, and then, pff, I don't know, head somewhere. We might have another event happening here in Goldenrod. 
so we'll take care of that if needed. Um, actually, we kind of need to, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay. The main idea is we're going to be finishing off the radio tower. Yes, that's that's what we're going to do. So subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Social media, including the Twitch, second channel, music channel. I said that already. I'm sorry. I'll see everyone next time. Popsart, out.